What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, that's cool. Let's get into this commentary. Hey homies, so today I want to talk to you about the Tabitha Nicole Murray case. Alright, so a Kentucky man accused of killing his girlfriend and fleeing the state with his four young sons was arrested in Illinois on Friday. Now, the state police confirmed that the four young boys were located safe and unharmed with Richard Gray, who was 32 years old, after an Amber Alert was issued on Friday evening. Now, that was after Bardstown police found Gray's girlfriend, Tabitha Nicole Murray, who was 33 years old, dead on the kitchen floor of her home during a welfare check around 5.30 p.m. Wow. Now, according to a release, Gray allegedly murdered Murray and fled the victim's residence with the four children. A warrant was issued for Gray's arrest with a bond set at $500,000. Gray was arrested before midnight on February 4th when officers from Mount Vernon Police responded to a call about a gas station fight between him and another man. Gray was taken into custody but initially lied about his identity. Upon, run, upon running the registration on the vehicle, the officers learned an Amber Alert had been posted on the vehicle, officials stated and the vehicle was possibly being driven by a murder suspect, Richard Gray, from Kentucky, and endangered children were also believed to be traveling with him in the vehicle. The children were found safe inside the vehicle and transported to the Mount Vernon Police Department, that's, and that's what it says in the reports. The Division of Children and Family Services assisted in returning the children to family members, the boys have been reportedly being placed with their paternal, excuse me, grandparents. Gray has been charged with first-degree murder and unlawful imprisonment in Kentucky and is not cooperating with police. In Illinois, charges are reportedly pending in Jefferson County for resisting and or obstructing arrests, obstructing identification, aggravated unlawful use of a weapon, possession of a stolen firearm, criminal damage to property, and aggravated battery. I knew she was a really good girl. She never did bother nobody. She never did anything to anybody. And that was said from her neighbor, Chastity Gilbert. Everyone's trying to figure out what's going on, what really happened, what caused this. I've been here since 2017. I've never seen nothing like this in my neighborhood before, and it was so quiet. Also from the neighbor, Chastity Gilbert. When this happened, it was so heartbreaking. One of the victim's sisters, Trina Murray, launched a GoFundMe campaign to raise funds for Murray's children and cover her burial costs. Murray's mother, excuse me, Murray was a mother of two, including one son with Gray that was one of the four boys with him when he was arrested. Murray's other child was not abducted and is safe with her family. She was more than a sister. She was my best friend, said Tina Murray. There wasn't anything we didn't go through together. I feel as a big sister, that's my job, to protect my sisters, and I hate that I wasn't there. So he needs to, he needs to just, they need to put him under the jail. So we don't know the motive, the motive of this. We don't know why he did this to, to her. It's sad. And it's just a shame. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure whatever happened, they could have either worked it out or he could have just left. He didn't have to murder her. Okay, now he inflicted pain on her family, okay, and also his family is in pain as well because they lose him because he has to go to prison for the rest of his life all because of what he has done to the mother of his children. 
okay? Tabitha's family is going to be going through it. There's children involved here. So you mean to tell me she was so bad, she was that bad, that he had to kill her. Whatever happened, he couldn't work it out. So he had to just kill her and then flee with the children. Like he wasn't going to get caught. You know, sometimes we want to know what was the cause. Why would he do this? What's the motive? But it doesn't matter what the motive is. Because you have no right to take someone else's life. And when and, and, it's, and it's sad that this type of stuff is happening more and more each day. You know? So whatever happened there, he won't tell the police. He's not cooperating. I'm pretty sure her family want to know why this all happened. You know, why? Because now, you know, whoever takes the children got to explain to those kids, this will happen to your mother. Your father did it. How he's going to explain this to his children when they get older and ask him? See, people don't think. When you have children with your significant other, there's a lot of things you have to think about. Okay? People don't think in the heat of the moment of things. He could have walked away. If they just say they was arguing about something, he could have walked away, went outside and cooled down, and then came back in and tried to have a civil conversation. Okay? If that's what happened. Because we don't know. But yet, you're going to sit there, take her life, jump in a car, flee the, and, and go to another state with the boys. How did you think you was going to get away with that? It's just really, oh, man. Hmm. It's just really heartbreaking. It's really heartbreaking that this stuff is still going on still going on but anyway you guys that's all i have for right now um if i have anything else later you know i'm gonna bring it to you so with that being said i'll talk to you later